right, live improv from New York City. And what we have now is a, is a, a, a game of two prov, a scene with Steve and with Jody Lee. So uh, why don't we dive right in? Steve, uh, do you want to get a suggestion? Actually, no, we will, we will copy the other couple and, and I don't want anything. Cool. All right. Well, I'm just going to check in with JL if, if she wants maybe a pair of slippers or anything or... I'd like a pair of slippers and a scarf and from the a cold beverage. Those will be waiting in your dressing room as soon as this oh. scene is done. Thank you, Scotty. Other than that, I'm good to go. Dynamite. Then we are going to mute our microphones to give you the focus. Are you ready to take focus? Although you can start whenever you like. Yes, we are. Yes. I didn't expect to see you here, Elizabeth. Well, you know I wouldn't have come if I'd known you were here. Yeah. Still, you've never shown up before. I never thought you really meant it. I always have. You left things so unfinished when you walked out. Doesn't mean that I didn't mean what I what I was saying. But it sounded so final. I mean I don't know what I don't know what to say to you. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to change things for the better. I There are so many things I want to say, and I, I'm just not sure, I'm just not sure that there can be a better. I believe there can be a better. I believe there can be a better. I Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope. Don't. Don't. There can be an us. I, I'm just not sure. I mean, the, the way you fold underwear. I, I, ugh, the, way, the, way, the way you roll socks into little balls. It stretches one over the other. I fold underwear into little nice, neat packets so that you can find them in the drawer. I put the socks together so you don't have to fumble in the morning. I fold fitted sheets so that they look good in the closet. That's what gets me right there. That's the one that gets me. That's the one that gets me because you, you, it's, there's, something, there's something that you have that I don't. Organization. I have a need for organization. But it's more than that, Elizabeth. It's, it's more than that. All of the knives you're facing the same way in the drawer. Oh God, that drives me nuts. All of the t-shirts are equally folded. Oh, no. And organized by color. Not all t-shirts are equal. You must, give them, you must give them their freedom to be unequal. I'm never going to give you the freedom to be unequal. And that's the problem. 
I need you organized. Elizabeth, that's not me. I'm chaos. I'm chaos personified. No amount of energy is going to get rid of the entropy that's within me. <laughs> I don't believe that for a minute. You sound like, like you think you're going to be a Schrodinger's cat. You're always alive and dead at the same time. I want to make you be certain. I'm certain I'm not I'm alive and dead. I'm alive and dead at the same time. This, 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 Elizabeth, you're spending so much energy on me and you're not spending any energy on you. On you. I've never spent energy on me. That's not my role in life. Then come, 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 come with me. Cross the bridge, cross the bridge and in, envelop, let me, let me have you experience chaos with me. Experience chaos with me. Come. You mean if I spin? And pull my arms in, I'll spin faster? Yes! No! That can't, that's not logical! <laughs> Once again, a master class in how to get along as a couple. Uh, free the t-shirts, free the t-shirts. I want to say thank you, Steve. And thank you, JL. Hey, thank you for watching Improv on a Friday night. But uh, don't go away. There is more. So stick around. Mm -hmm.